I found this wordless thing while digging for shinies. I overheard that Cliff guy mention something about crowns once, but I don't believe him. Trade you for shinies. ka -ching! Now you have the ultimate power. Ah, uh, sorry. No more pretty princess crowns for you. The machine clicky tink tink no more. Time to say bye-bye. Oh, did you know that there are shinies all around? Oh, I bet you did. You look smart with that oversized head and all. Well, they're buried in very secret and amazing places. These items are invaluable. Invaluable! Sorry. <laughs> they are incredible things like spatulas, cans, and... Uh, spoons! Oh, did you know that there are shinies all around? Oh, I bet you did. You look smart with that oversized head and all. Well, they're buried in very secret and amazing places. These items are invaluable. Invaluable! Sorry. <laughs> They are incredible things like spatulas, cans, and, ha, huh, spoons! Shinies are objects that the ancients hid all over the world. They are amazing artifacts that inspire and hold magic powers. One of them is very rare. It's called the spatula. Wow, huh? Right? Even though I grew up in the wild, I still know shinies are very valuable. Why else would those ancient guys hide them from me? Do you want to know the real reason Lyric had to be stopped? Because he was after all the ancients' amazing forks. That's why the ancients hid them in secret spots. I know, right? Yes. Mine went farthest before it melted. But until you can prove otherwise, let's all agree that the robot apocalypse is upon us and life on this planet as we know it is doomed. Sound good? You know, Amy's play wasn't all that bad. Actually, I kind of like twigs. And we can overlook the toaster thing as a youthful indiscretion. You might notice a few things missing from your shack. I can neither confirm nor deny my involvement in that. And the best part is, they're all unregistered with the serial numbers scratched off. Not bad, Knuckles. I'm ready for my trapeze act, boss. How can you allow yourself to become a pawn of the corporate fat cats? I turned my burrow into a totes a dorps tribute to Justin. Us too. He even wrote a song only about me. It's called Every Single Girl I've Ever Met. Winning again? <laughs> you know it. Don't you underestimate me. I was raised in the jungle, you hear? You picked a good one. yahoo Who won? I won number one. Exploding berries? Little grenades for when the holidays get out of hand? That is beautiful. I don't know about you guys. But I need a trip to the volcano. Yeah, you see, you switched sides, and your bad luck overpowered Eggman's good luck, but you were really on our side, so by losing, you won.